hey guys and welcome back to Caesar the bullies YouTube channel um, in this video I want to talk to you guys about the first 24 hours after your dog has whelped her litter um, so as you know Caesar's girlfriend diamond is 100% am staff and we are so super pleased with the beautiful litter that they created let's just get right into the story right so um, my boyfriend and I, we knew that she was going to be delivering soon. She was showing all of the signs of a, a very close delivery. Her temperatures had dropped under 100. I believe it was like 98.6 the very last time that we checked. Um, and then a few hours after that, she began doing that heavy panting situation. And we knew that... Uh, the delivery was very close however we were not certain exactly when it would come and I think we kind of just we wanted to scale back a bit because we had been on her so much and so we just decided to go to bed we were like we're gonna just leave the door open so we could hear if anything goes on and we left her in her whelping area um, we went to bed about one o'clock and my boyfriend work woke up first and he woke up and I heard him yell my name like Danielle Danielle um, the puppies this puppy so I immediately hopped out of the bed and I came over to Diamond's whelping area and she had delivered four puppies all on her own um, so we were extremely excited and ecstatic and erratic at the same time we wanted to grab the camera we were like holy shit she started delivering I was feeling personally super bad like oh my gosh she literally delivered four puppies all on her own they were very very safe they were clean she did a wonderful job um, but like I said she ended up having seven puppies all together so we were able to witness her birth the last three so out of all seven puppies um we have two boys and we have five girls the last three that came out were in the blue family you see what caesar looks like he is a beautiful uh beautiful blue amstaff um so of course you guys know the first milk that your bitch is going to excrete is going to be called colostrum that is the very essential um immunity building necessities for the puppy so you want to make sure that they are latching um in this 24 hours uh, i would say that that was probably one of the most difficult things she did a beautiful job with delivery uh, she was able to clean up the puppies as you can see um, she cleaned out the sacks cut the umbilical cords and again I I'll probably just keep saying it throughout this video because she just did an amazing job and with such a beautiful litter um, things to look out for so um, we are very close with our dog diamond uh, her and the father Caesar of course live here in the home um, and so she was not really too hesitant to allow us to handle the puppies and work with her or as regard you know as far as making sure that they are latching onto the nip because you do want to make sure that they are getting that colostrum um so side note if you notice that your puppies are not latching onto the mom you do want to purchase some colostrum on the side again it builds their immunity it's going to make sure that they're not going to be sick or that you unfortunately may lose a puppy you know you want to make sure that that doesn't happen and so that colostrum step in you know that milk is going to be very important to their growth um she did not eat most of the day uh, we did feed her vanilla ice cream for calcium and for, you know, the sugar content for some energy for her. Uh, she absolutely loved that. Uh, we gave her, like I said, because she already had four when we woke up, we immediately gave her her first bowl and then probably another bowl once we realized that she had her last puppy. Listen, you can do as much research as you think you need to prepare for your first 24 hours after birth but I can assure you that nothing is going to really prepare you 100% until your bitch begins to give birth it is such 
a humbling experience but we absolutely are loving it and will continue loving it as we move forward in the next few weeks where we lose an abundant amount of sleep and money <laughs> but um we're so super excited so um to talk a little bit more about the first 24 hours i think it's important that you know your dog's temperament you know her attitude um because like i said she was very 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 fond of us prior to her pregnancy but we do notice that sometimes when it's feeding time uh, that she tends to shut off a bit uh even at sometimes like literally trying to block her puppies from us and where we had to like use two people one to kind of rub and console her while we lay her on her side and make sure that each of the puppies are latching uh, it's important to keep a feeding chart so that you know you know which puppies are feeding which ones are not so you can make sure that maybe on the next feeding go around that those puppies go first um and then of course keeping them on a two hour schedule uh these puppies only cry for three reasons when they're hungry, when they're cold, and when their belly hurts. Uh, okay, so uh, honestly, we allow Diamond to do a lot of the work here. Um, and, and that is most certainly going to be my takeaway. And I hope that you guys do the same. Naturally, she has that motherly instinct. She's doing phenomenal with her puppies. And when you notice that a mom is kind of in charge with her litter, you kind of want to fall back not too much handling of the puppies um you know keeping them underneath that warm flight is going to sustain their body temperature which will overall you know increase their chances of survival so trying to handle the puppies as less as possible is going to help both moms you and your you know you and the mom's relationship as well as the health of the puppies uh, what else do I say about the 24 hours like I'm literally like I'm recording this because I want everything to be fresh and so that it's not misguided or like rehearsed um, puppies are doing good again like I said feeding is going to be essential and I definitely recommend having two people because you want to make sure that those puppies are fed. Um, she did not use the bathroom as frequently as she normally does. And that's probably because she refused food. Um, for like the half a day before she delivered. And aside from the ice cream, we gave her soft puppy food mixed with a little bit of kibble. And she was able to get that down. Um, don't be alarmed if you see like blood coming from her stool or some lack stuff that's still I mean she just had some babies what the hell right so um, just be mindful of it if over the next few days for several days you're seeing it um, then that would be cause for concern but we just took her out on her second walk of the day and it looks like her stool is really back to normal so I'm super happy about that of course we have her um, an unlimited fresh water supply while she's whelping uh, she typically doesn't like to leave this area at all and honestly do not force your bitch to do so again if she's in her motherly natural instinct she's gonna want to be around her puppies a lot um, but she's doing great we got the bed we've got the heat no matter what your heating source is um, you know just make sure that obviously you're being safe it's not too close to the puppies um, I believe that they want the temperature to be between 80 and 90 degrees for a comfortable comfortable temperature to be around the puppies you hear them it's just about feeding time again um, but we definitely did not make the same mistake as the night before delivery. We alternated sleeping um, on the couch, which is very close to her whelping area. Uh, and it is obviously most essential. You know, like we said, we do want to allow her to do her motherly thing. But also, we don't want her smushing the puppies or rolling over them or smothering them. So, like I said, we alternated um, every few hours getting up from the bed to the couch so that somebody is here monitoring the puppies at all times and uh, you know it, it's something that you guys have to do if you are working 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 you say hi you say hi if you are you know if you're working I suggest that 
as it gets close to her delivery you have that already scheduled with work so that you can't come you know you can't come in it's definitely a two-person job this is not something that i recommend doing by yourself uh, just for the safety of the puppies and the safety of mom uh, so that's pretty much it right now that's all that I can think of I'll probably be editing this video and think about more stuff so I'll jot that down because we're going to be taking you guys on this journey with us over the next few weeks over the next few weeks you know as mom progress as the pups progress so you know again if i missed it out today i'll make sure i mention it into my next video and we'll be dropping videos weekly uh from here so that you guys can see how the puppies are doing uh, but if you have any questions or comments be sure to drop them down below as always we love and thank you for watching uh make sure you're subscribing to this channel hit the bell notification because we got some dope content coming for you guys this is an american staff shire terrier household um and we've got three babies here uh well they're not babies no more because they're starting to have babies themselves but we are just an am staff love uh, but i'm gonna see you in the next one so peace